Doc, tell us a little bit, give us a tour of the B-17. Okay, we start on the left wing and there's the uh, position light. The position light on the left side is red and on the right side it's green. That's so we can tell which direction the airplane is going. These little hanger down things here are called static something or others. Yeah, they dissipate the static electricity on the aircraft. We have here the uh, aileron, the left aileron, as part of the roll system. This is a trim tab on the aileron that helps to trim out the, uh, the weight so that uh, the plane will fly a little more level. These are the wing flaps. These flaps tend to increase the width of the, air, the wing and increases lift for slow flight and it helps in uh, reducing airspeed as well. That's the walkway from the crew quarters to the cabin. This part is the fuselage. There are windows along here. The upper part up here is for uh, walking from the front to the back. And right under this part of it, there's just a small thin rail that you can walk on to get through the bomb bay position. As we come further back, we have the ball turret right here. The ball turret was one of the, uh, the scariest positions on the aircraft because you're hanging down underneath, you're closed in, it's hard to get out. But the, the crew member that flew in the ball turret was probably in the safest position because it is very uh, well armored and it'd be harder to hit. The waste gunners that be in this position here were the ones that usually got uh, attacked the most. This is called the waste gun position. I can see a young girl in there. That's kind of interesting. This is the horizontal stabilizer. This black thing on the front of it here, on the leading edge, you'll find it on the wings and on the vertical stabilizer as well, is the anti-icing device. There are little balloons like in there that will open and close, open and close, and it just kind of breaks the ice off and it flops off in the back. The elevator is used for pitch control. Pitch, of course, is nose up and nose down. Back here we have the uh, tail gunner position. There's a sight, gun sight right here, and it's electrically controlled. These little uh, fins on here help to move the air around the guns as they're being shot. I got some dirt on here. These guns will raise up and down, and the turret that the ball that it's in will move back and forth. So there's quite a wide range of uh, uh, positions. Up here we have the uh, the vertical stabilizer. This helps to control the lateral flight of the aircraft. And on the back side of the lateral or of the vertical stabilizer, we have the rudder. And the rudder is what controls yaw, and it helps to coordinate turns. As you move the uh, the wheel and the one aileron, whether it's on the left or the right, depending on which way you're rolling, it's going to cause a drag and pull the airplane around in that direction. So this is to help coordinate the turns so that you know to, to get rid of the yaw. Now just like we're on the other side, this is the elevator. There is usually a light up on the top of this, which is an anti-collision light, it's usually red, and then there's a couple light bulbs on each side of it. You having fun, you having fun yet? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm on camera. I haven't done a I haven't been on well, I was on TV many, 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 many years ago. So it's kind of neat to be back. <laughs> yeah, basically, this side is the same as the other side, except for one thing. On this wing tip, you'll see a green light instead of red. As we come forward, we see... Bombay doors are open. And if you can look underneath here. <laughs> You see up there, there's a, a very thin little pathway. And that's how they could get from the front to the back while either the bomb bay was open or so they wouldn't even walk on the bomb bay. And that goes that the seats up there that you can see from here are the radio man and the, uh, the navigator. Obviously, this is the tire. 
this is a, a strut, it's an oleo strut, it absorbs the shock as the airplane is coming in the ground. These line, this line here is a, the brake line. There's a scissor gear here which will help to uh, take in the shock as well. <laughs> this is the engine. That's all. What else is there? I'm not sure. What was it? 1250 horsepower? Is that what? I think uh, about that. Yeah. Yeah. And inside the hub here, there are two little, like cylinders on uh, a thing. And as they spin, they come out. It's, it's part of the governor system for changing the pitch on the propeller. And uh, the the pitch is where we get the RPM. And then the uh, the uh, cylinder head pressure is on the, uh, the power handles. And of course, it's a three blade propeller. These are the cowl flaps. Uh, while it's taxing or sitting on the ground, you don't want to get it too warm. The air will come through and out through the cowl flaps and help to keep it cool. Well, I can even feel heat coming out of here now. Once they're in the air, the cowl flaps will be closed because with the airspeed and the speed of the propellers, you're not going to be getting a whole lot of heat. Uh, that's in there and anticipated out through the, the aircraft. Six inches ahead, so. Okay, one way of identifying this aircraft is with that turret under the, the uh, nose. It's called a chin turret. And the first model to have the chin turret is the G model. So that's why we call this the B-17G. This position up in the front is the uh, bombardier position. And uh, it has the Norton gun, or, uh, bomb sight in here. And you notice there's a couple guns on each side of the, the nose as well. So that adds to the number that we were thinking about earlier. I'm not sure just how many guns this thing has now. Now this turret will move back and forth and the guns will go up and down. So the, the range is really tremendous in how much uh, area it can cover. And these guns on the nose on each side there are hand operated, so you can up and down, in and out. Similar to the waist guns. And that's kind of it, huh? I think we've gone almost all the way around. Except there is an entrance hatch right there. <laughs> yes, sir. You're the boss, yeah. And a lot of the young crew, being just little kids, could just walk up here, grab a hold of it, and swing up in there. They didn't have to. I can't do that, though, can you? <laughs> Not even when I was 19. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> well, when I was 19, that was so long ago, we didn't even have airplanes. Yeah. <laughs>